love this song. And why are we playing this song about superstition? It's not Friday the 13th. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Why are we playing it? Because it's a big day here. Uh, we've got the game coming up. And today we've got Susan Kim. Uh, and she's here today because it's the baby shower day. Yay! Okay. We're so excited to finally have her. We twisted her arm and said, you have to be on our couch. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? like, please, please let me be on your show. Although you almost got showed up by the Wienermobile there. You know, yeah. I mean, it's close. It's always a good Susan day when you're Kim. up against the Wienermobile. That's right. Wienermobile. There it Susan is. Kim. Look at that thing. It's like Wiener a spaceship Mobile. out there. I know. Do you it's get to huge. drive it? It's like, tw no, we don't get to drive it, but we I'm do get to go it. inside it. And the carpet is splattered with condiments, I understand. So got to check that out. I don't yes. know if they're like dried or what, but we're going to go out and check that out. <laughs> Do you Just get a free hot dog at least? When no, you it's not it? a food truck. This oh, one is not. We get right? a wiener okay. whistle. Yeah. That's oh, what we get. What not a hot dog. Yeah, we won't, we won't talk Just about so that anymore. Just so you know, anymore. they can carry 11,000 wiener whistles in that mobile, Susan. See? What happens get when it. you blow the whistle? I, we're going to find out. Yeah. Okay. Live on our show. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so you started the Community Baby Shower 10 years ago um, here at the station because um, of people that you wanted to try and help in the community. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But yeah. first, I want to talk sports with you. Oh, okay. Um, Tiffany's not all that versed on sports, so whenever there's someone <laughs> I here. I am, just not football. Who <laughs> knows something about sports? Just not all football. Like sports. the biggest sport in the state. <laughs> no. right, Exactly. I love it. Um, but I love that, that you like sports, but you've got kind of a split household because you're this Packers uh, fan. You've yes. lived here uh, ever since you've lived here, um, but then your husband is a Bengals fan. So how do you work that out at home? Well, he's an obsessed Bengals fan, actually. Oh, he is? Oh, my gosh. It's like crazy. I don't know. But, um, yeah, here he's brainwashed our children, my three kids and my husband because the You Bengals. don't even have one of the children on your side? Well, I, the girls are kind of 50-50, but my little guy, Alex, he is a complete Bengals mm, fan. He won't no even way. wear Packers stuff to. Packers Day at school. He shows wow. up in a Bengals jersey. You know, my son's a Bears fan. I hate. I, people don't like when I talk about being a Bears fan. I totally understand. I'm a Packers fan now, while they're still in mm -hmm. the in the, the hunt. But but you um, root for the Bears too. I root for the Bears too. I'm a huge <laughs> Bears fan. <laughs> I did not know <laughs> this about you. I don't think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I have both of my daughters now are Packers fans, okay. and well, so he's good. the only Bears fan in the family. And I think that he feels like very conflicted about it. Well, so are there big fights among the kids? They don't because the girls aren't that into football. Oh, okay. You know, so right. but. He's now, you know, he's he feels all this pressure. He's divided, but um, we're gonna. You talked earlier today about superstitions on um, daybreak. Right? Yeah, like some of the Packers have the weirdest superstitions. One of the guys, like he wears the same underwear. I can't remember which player I it was. I've heard but he's, about that before. Yeah, like he doesn't the same change his underwear, underwear. Is DJ Williams? Okay, and I'm yeah. like, tight end. But does that mean you don't change your underwear all week? Let's call it <laughs> the day. See, I think that's a good question. Can they be clean? I mean, they could be the same ones, but washed every day, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, as long as you say these are my lucky underwear right yeah right <laughs> right here's my lucky end and that's Brad the jones end. yeah who's the linebacker who cannot yeah. look at himself in the mirror yeah, I right. think that's so weird. But he only says, on game day. Yes. All the other days, he looks in the mirror to make He's sure he primper. looks good. Right? Because uh -huh. you got to look good if you're a professional football player. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that. Leroy Butler joined us once here on the yellow couch, and he said, um, if you look good, you play good. Yeah, you got to feel good on the inside. Well, yeah. who is it too? Heidi Klum said that she always has really sexy lingerie on because if you feel good on the inside, then you look good on the outside. Well, she's a Victoria's yeah. Secret model well, too. I so too, right? let's, I mean, let's be. She <laughs> might have been paid session. millions of dollars to say that. Oh, well, that's true too. But and, works, and Mike right? Neal has this thing where he jumps in the steam room, then he gets in a cold tub, then he gets in the hot tub, then he gets in the cold tub, then he takes a shower. Le everything up until the last minute before the game. Back right. and forth, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Well, and in the locker room, the guys are like, come on already, right? I mean, because right. like, he likes like, to wait until the last minute. Like, we're running out on the field right now. How exactly. about Mason Crosby? Did you guys hear about him? Yeah, no, what was his? Was that the shoe? Yeah, tie left, left, tie right. No, well, put the left on, then put the right on, and then tie the left one. You can't put the left on and tie it at the <laughs> no, same no, time because no. that's bad luck. <laughs> and then they lose. Right, and then he hasn't been kicking very well, so I wonder if he did the right shoe and then the Maybe left shoe. Maybe he should uh. mix it up. Well, we put out on Ooh. Facebook today. <laughs> Here's our Facebook question today. Right. It's, do you have any game day superstitions? What I think is so funny about people who are like, you know, they, they sit in the same chair every day. Yeah. Otherwise, they think the Packers won't win or something like that. It's What I think is fascinating about that mindset is to think that what I do at, in the comfort of my own home with right. my armchair is going to have an effect on the field hundreds of miles away for a football game. Well, you know, my sister-in-law works for the Packers, and my mother-in-law went to a game, and they lost the game that my mother-in-law went to. So she's and banned. so my sister-in-law teased her and said, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to come anymore. I believe it. <laughs> it was 
was like when Jessica Simpson was dating uh, what's his name, and he couldn't go to she couldn't go to the Tony games. Romo. Tony Romo, oh, right, right, right. And she couldn't they go lost. to the games because they kept losing. I'm all for it. I believe in superstitions. I'm a big superstition person. I think we all have energy, and you put that out there, and energy all works towards something. So you always so. want the good karma. Yeah, you got you got to be doing it right. You got to exactly. sending out bad thoughts. Bad thoughts could come back to, to the you. universe. How about um, golf? Because golf is a big game for oh. you. Everybody knows you love. You golf. look so cute. I've seen you in some of your golf clothes. I always, I, I have said for a long time, I'm going to pick up golf because I like the shoes. There's so many cute golf <laughs> shoes. Pick it's it ridiculous. Up. Okay, well, what? Right? But yeah, I mean, because they have really cute clothes, and that's why I like they golf. They do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're well, not, really good too. I am not really good. If I was really good, I would be on tour. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. You're a golfer too, right? I golf too. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and, and it's cute fun. Clothes. And I got really cute clothes, but all my clothes were sponsored. So I got like the cutest of the clothes. I oh, just that's awesome. had a I, golf show. I played golf for the first time um, this past summer with my parents a few times. I actually really liked it, but I think it is the most frustrating yes. sport you could ever imagine playing. Well, and I think the more you know about golf, the harder it is. You yes. Know, I mean, the more you realize how difficult of a sport it is. I mean, it takes forever to even get decent at that game. It's can a we, practiced can sport. Can we please? Talk talk about Vinny. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. I would love to talk about Vinny. Okay, so here's Susan's <laughs> um, perspective. When she's at the news desk, this is what she sees. Up Look close at this face. Personal. We've had him on a few man panels. He does a pretty good job with us. I like that he's opinionated and he just throws stuff out there. Yeah. What's it like working with him? Everybody on Twitter and Facebook, you guys are huge social on media. social media. You're like gurus of social media. And Aww. all your followers are tweeting today and are on Facebook saying they're so excited to hear what it's really like to work with Vinny. Well, you know, he's opinionated? I didn't know. <laughs> I, no, I mean, seriously, the way he is on the man panel is probably how he is all the time around around me and all of us. I mean, mm -hmm. he... He talks to himself all the time. He does? Oh, all the time. Are these pep talks? No, he just talks. I mean, and we sit next to each other, and all of a sudden, I hear, I feel, can feel this person stand up. La, 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 and I am like, giving a speech. Right. And I'm like, what is going on? Did something happen? No. The, you know, it could have been something dropped on the floor. La, la, la. <laughs> Just everything, and it could be a movie line. He's really, he's really into movies. I mean, he can remember movie lines from like way back when, like every Christmas men. Vacation, yes. Fugitive, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just stand up one day, just uh, recites the entire Fugitive movie. I mean, he's got like every <laughs> single line memorized, man. And I just keep da 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 da. Just another day. Oh, I know the way you, the way you tolerate him sometimes cracks me up. And here's that's the thing why is, the chemistry is so good. When he's in a bad mood, you can sniff it like before he even gets in the uh -huh. studio. I think. Oh, is really? That energy oh, you know him well. Oh, the yeah. energy proceeds, right. yes. Oh, but uh -huh. to know him is to love him. I mean, he is absolutely very wonderful and does a lot for our community. Yeah. So it's it's all in good fun. But how you see him here on your panel and on television, you know, when we have those moments is really how he is. And yeah. I think that's why people love him. Yeah, he's know? a you know, genuine guy. We like and that, funny. too. Yeah. We're going to talk about the baby shower when okay. you come back a little bit later. So thanks for chatting with us. Oh, thanks so much so for having awesome. me. So awesome. And you can so come out nice. with us to, to go inside the wiener mobile. <laughs> we'll, you get you <laughs> we'll get you a wiener whistle. We'll get you a wiener whistle, Susan. I look forward to it. Hey, will you come mm -hmm. back now that you've had this experience? Did it go okay for you? Yeah. Once you've had the, you like the, it? the well, moment I mean, on the couch? You guys are the darlings of morning television, so anytime oh. I'd love to hang out. We love you. Uh -huh. I know. She love tweeted that too. today. I already retweeted it. Thank <laughs> you so much. Keep it.